Hey my friends, how's it going? It's Ultimus, and today we're going to talk about everything we know so far about the upcoming changes and new transmog system coming in Legion. Now we've briefly talked about some of the changes in our very first videos we did talking about Legion, but I wanted to devote an entire video to it just to go over some of the changes and things that we know to be for sure. And of course, this could all change based on Blizzard's direction they want to take the game and of course, player feedback. Um, some things that we know that are being immediately changed is the system as a whole. Um, there's going to be a brand new interface for it, so no longer are we going to be looking at this interface. But it's going to be something that's going to be vaguely similar to Mogget in the sense of where you're able to save different sets and different things depending on what your look is wanting to go for, which is really cool in my personal opinion. You're able to name those sets and things like that, and with one click of a button, it transmogs your weapons for you, and armor as well, and then you're able to pay the gold and do it. Now, one of the other really cool factors that is coming in to Legion as well is that the transmogs are going to be account-wide, very similar to how Diablo functions. Once you've unlocked a specific armor or weapon, it is usable on all character types that are able to use that. For example, if I pick up a plate pair of plate shoulders from Black Temple that are, you know, non-class or set specific. My Death Knight, my Paladin, my Warrior, they're all able to use them. Now, there are a few restrictions to this, which have caused a little bit of controversy throughout the WoW community, but regardless of what your thoughts are on it and what my thoughts are on it, that's the system that's in place for now. And that is, you have to be able to equip them on the character that originally picked them up in order to unlock it on your account. And so, to explain what that means is that I cannot pick up a cloth chest piece on my warrior and unlock it on my account and then all of a sudden my mage can use it. In order for my clothies to be able to use the robe that was picked up, I would have to pick it up on a clothy to unlock it. So, depending on how you feel about that, there it is. Um, I'd like to hear your two cents on it. Um, myself, I don't know if I necessarily care all that much, to be completely honest. I don't think it's that big of a deal. To me personally, at least anyways, um, I just, I, it really doesn't bother me all that much. I, I just don't care enough to squabble over it. I think the system itself is cool enough as it is, and I'm pretty happy to see the changes coming. Um, some other cool things that are coming via the transmog system is any old items that have been previously vendored, trashed, all this stuff will be unlocked on your account as well, as well as old quest items that have been thrown away, quest items that are no longer in the game or obtainable. So if you've had this account for, for a while and you managed to get, let's say you've got an old account from vanilla and you've had the whirlwind axe as a warrior, I'm pretty sure all the warriors that have played for a while know exactly what I'm talking about. That was one of the most epic moments as a warrior that you got to go through and do. And the quest was only removed, I think, in Cataclysm. It was up all the way through Wrath of the Lich King you were able to do it. It was a cool axe. I mean, you can get axes that look exactly like it on the auction house, but there's something really cool about that axe. So if you unlock that, say, on your account as a warrior, um, how Blizzard is saying it's going to function is if you have vendored that item or threw it away, whatever it is, you don't have it anymore, you're going to have that item still unlocked on your account, which is really, really cool. Now, there's a couple questions and things that we still have as far as functionality goes. Um, I'm very curious about the um, Grand Marshal sets that you're going to unlock. For example, can I use the Grand Marshal's Claymore now on my Paladin and my Death Knight if I so choose? Or is that still locked to my Warrior because of the achievement that is attached to? Um, I haven't heard too much about that, so that's yet to be heard. It would be really cool if I could use it on my other characters, not going to lie, but I'm not holding my breath. Um, Blizzard did confirm in some of their community managers via tweeting um, that you would be able to purchase the ability to unlock the, the Warlords of Draenor challenge mode weapons for your characters, which I think is really cool. Um, it's a nice gold sink. I think it's cool to see that they're adding a lot of gold sinks in Legion simply because so many players are going to have a lot of gold going into Legion because of garrisons. So being able to have options for that I think is really cool. And I'm excited about it. That way I don't have to go through and do challenge modes on all the characters that I want my weapons on. We have yet to hear anything about if the Mist of Pandaria uh, wet, uh, armor sets are going to be unlocked the same way. Um, that one I don't know... 
I don't know anything about. I haven't heard anything about. It would be kind of cool because I think the sets are really, really awesome. But at the same time, as someone who can appreciate the hard work and the effort that went into earning those, I could respect the decision to keep those locked away to those who only unlocked it at the time. Um, either way, I think I would be happy, obviously, because I could use the items itself. But at the same time, it would be cool to, to just simply keep it restricted as well. I can, I can respect each decision either way. Um, so there are some really cool changes coming to Transmog. And I think it's really good to revisit the system and continue updating it as it is now. Simply because it is a very cool feature. It's a very core feature now. Um, ever since it first launched in Cataclysm, uh, people have gone stark raving mad over it. It's one of the best time sinks for a while. If you're looking for something to do, your arena partners aren't on, or your you know raid group isn't raiding for the night, whatever reason, or you're staying home from work because you're sick and you're not feeling well, but you want to play a little bit of WoW and you don't want to do anything, or you just want to chill. Uh, running old raids and things like that can be a really fun way to just chill, watching a YouTube video, listening to music, whatever it is, watching a movie. Maybe that's just me, but it's one of my favorite ways to chill and just enjoy the game without really the pressure of really playing with other people. Sometimes it's nice just to, you know, single player it up. Just throwing that out there. Um, so with all this attention being given to the Transbox system, I think it's really, really cool. And it's really nice to see it being updated as well. One of the other really cool features that's going into the Legion Transbox system as well, and I feel like this is a lot of like robes and leather wares that have been asking for this. I feel like most plate wearers love their shoulders. Uh, at least that's my impression anyways. For me, like a set is made by the shoulders. Like even look at this druid in front of me. Look at this dude. He's got those gnarly looking shoulders on. That set wouldn't be nearly as cool without those shoulders. Uh, my warrior, for example, with the set right now, this set is made by those shoulders. I dig that helmet as well, don't get me wrong. I feel like I've said before, a Jaeger from Pacific Rim or a Gundam. But uh, just the, the shoulders make the set. And so, but yeah, being able to hide the shoulders, I think, is an important feature for a lot of people. And I know people have been asking for it for a while. So that's one of the other features that's coming as well with the Legion transmog system. One of the other really cool features as well coming with it is the ability to transmog tabards. Now, I don't necessarily know why you would want to transmog a tabard unless you're getting tabards back that give rep and you, it just doesn't go with your current gear set. I could get that, but my thing is like, if you want to just equip a tabard, just equip a tabard, but that's neither here nor there. Maybe one of you can explain to me why that would be really cool or uh, why that would be something that's appealing. I don't know, but either way, lots of cool changes coming. I'm excited for them and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what comes, what goes, and uh, what we actually get come beta and then live. So by means of recap, let's go ahead and bounce back and just condense all of this into a quick little bullet point thing, majig. Um, account wide, transmogs, mail wares will unlock mail, plate wares will unlock plate, cloth wares will unlock cloth, and leather wares will unlock leather. Yet to be determined as far as weapons, though I would imagine it would be you have to be able to use that weapon type in order to unlock it which again, I have really no opinion on other than the fact that it is what it is. Um, you have new tabs, new interface, old weapons and gear that have yet been destroyed, sold or disenchanted will be accessible again. Um, challenge mode weapons from WAD will be able to be unlocked on characters for a gold fee. I would estimate that to be probably anywhere from 50 to 100,000 gold to unlock it. So there's that. Um, so. I will also include in the description below a video done by Wowhead and Trade Chat um, as far as the looking for over the interface and how, what that all looks like and things like that, um, which might be worth your time to check out just because it goes over all the different changes and things like that as well. It's a really intuitive and really well put together uh, interface and I'm really, really happy with it. So I don't know if you're like me, but you've got bags and bags and banks and alts and void storage full of gear. So the new changes that are coming to the Transmog system are very much appreciated. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have yet to do so already. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.